A Hero of Our Time Book Summary by Audiobook Academy. Lerman's most significant work, A Hero of Our Time, is the first Russian psychological book and the first Russian realistic novel. This novel's protagonist, Bicharin, is one of Europe's first characters of contradiction, torn between a desire for pleasure and an inability to fall in love and be married. He doesn't believe that he can ever be happy. He's a Byronic hero. It is set in the 18th century in a fishing town and then in a medical facility. Maxim Maximovich, Bicharin, Vera, Princess Mary, and Bela are the primary protagonists. Genre, psychological novel. Time, 18th century. Place, small fisherman village, hospital. During a trip across the Caucasus Mountains, Maximovich was introduced to the writer. The two of them became friends and exchanged life tales, during which he recalled his acquaintance, the eccentric Bichorin. For a year, the two of them resided in a stronghold while serving in the military. It was revealed to the author that Bichorin had a crush on the daughter of a despised royal, Bela. But a thief was also infatuated with her. In spite of Bela's brother's desire for the robber's horse, he was not for sale. Bichorin and Azamat, Bela's brother, agreed that if Bicharin got Azamat the horse, Bela would be his. In order to obtain the horse, Azamat kidnapped his sister and brought her to Pachorin. Despite Bela's sadness, Pachorin won her heart. He didn't care that Bela gave herself up for him. Once again, she was kidnapped and stabbed. After her death, Pachorin left town. During their conversation, Maximovich revealed that he has no idea where Pachorin is. After some time has passed, the writer runs into Maximovich in a bar which Pachorin also frequented. He ignored the author's pleas and departed for Persia. During his time in the mountains of the Caucasus, Maximovich gave the writer Pachorin's journals. After Pachorin's death, the author decided to publish his diaries, but he omitted the portion in which Pachorin recounts his entire life's experiences. An elderly woman helped him get around town with the help of an elderly blind man, a little girl, and an elderly woman. Grushnitsky was one of his pals, and he describes an incident he had with the two of them. Grushnitsky fell in love with the Princess Mary when she appeared with her mother. Pachorin also had a crush on Princess Mary, and he tried to do everything he could to separate the two of them, but the princess just grew to despise him as a result. Still, the princess develops feelings for Pachorin, and suddenly his ex-girlfriend appears. After playing with them both, Pachorin came to appreciate Mary more. Mary pursued Pachorin as he fled to another town. After spending so much time together, he grew to loathe Mary when she mentioned marriage. Pachorin was accused of stealing Mary from Grushnitsky because he took her from him. They got into a gunfight, and despite Pachorin's injuries, he ended up winning and killing his opponent. After Pachorin's departure, the diary came to an end. On another castle, Pachorin tells Maximovich about a bet he made with a soldier over whether or not faith exists. He told him that he was going to die. Finally, an intoxicated Russian horseman slashed his chest from shoulder to heart with a sable, killing him. Characters, Pachorin, Bela, Maxim Maximovich, Princess Mary, Vera. Characters. Pachorin was a 25 years old soldier and nobleman. He was a handsome young man who also had a solid academic background. He was descended from aristocrats. When he was a kid, he went through a lot, but he didn't put his heart into it. The Caucasus Mountain was the only thing he cared about. A woman's touch brought him out of his shell of loneliness and coldness. Everything he did was motivated by a deep seated hatred for infidelity, betrayal, and societal injustice. He became a cold, biting, and the egotistical person as a result of all of it. For him, the available options aren't good enough, therefore he seeks fulfillment in the unattainable. A sense of lust fills his wanderings. He's not happy about it, but he can't stop thinking about it. Bela is the only romantic character in the story. As soon as Bacharin realized he was in love with her, he set out to win her over. When he rejected her, she fell in love with him even though she was brought to him as a slave. He held her to death. For Bela, the experience of genuine love was life-changing. Initially, she was a simple girl in pursuit of romantic love, but by the end of the story she had matured into a noble woman. Maxim Maximovich is a kind soldier about to retire. Upon hearing Picharin say that the journal he had kept secure for years was of little value, he was hurt. Mary was a princess who gets seduced by Picharin and she fell in love with him. When he learned she was in love with him, he told her it was all a game and that he never really loved her. Vera is Pachorin's ex-girlfriend, and he was also playing a game with her at the same time. In spite of the fact that she was married, she wants to give Pachorin one more chance. If society views her differently, she doesn't care. Biography of Mikhail Lermontov. In Moscow, 
Mikhail Lermontov was born in 1814. For several years following his mother's death when he was three years old, he was cared for by his grandmother because his father was destitute. When he heard that Pushkin had died, he penned the song Death of the Poet and gained a lot of media attention. It was the death of Pushkin's that provided him with the breaking point he needed. He worked on A Hero of Our Time, his sole novel, from 1837 until 1841. During those four years, he produced a large number of mature works of art, some of which became foundational texts in 19th century Russian literature. In 1841, he was shot in the heart and died with a smile on his face. He left a legacy of 26 poems, 5 plays, a completed novel, and 2 uncompleted novels. Thank you for listening in Audiobook Academy. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button for more content like this. See you in next video.